you had sickle cell disease. Yes. And uh, actually, you've come to the emergency room multiple times for pain, pain. As, as happens many times with this condition. Yes. And uh, today we uh, tried something a little bit different on you for the first time. We tried the low-dose ketamine. You've yes. gotten some initial pain medications ahead of time. Yes. And, uh, uh, and it didn't work. Your pain was still like 9 out of 10 yes. at that time. Yes. So the low-dose ketamine, we did 0.25 mg per kg, which came out to be about 20.5 milligrams. Right. And we gave it slowly so we wouldn't get the emergence reaction. Right. And you stated that your pain disappeared completely. Yes. Over, and we, we gave it to you like over 15, 20 minutes. Yes. But, yes. but you were probably even halfway through that. Yes. And you were already feeling a whole lot better. Better, yes. Yeah. I wish you would have gave me this first before you would have gave me the rest of that medicine. I have sickle cell anemia. I've had two strokes, one in 2004 and one this year. And they tried me on this um, drug called ketamine. When I came in, my um, pain was at a nine and a half, i.e. meaning 9.5, all the way up to a 10. That's like the worst excruciating pain. Um, I have my original, you know, pain medication, MS cotton, Dilaudid, Blase Blase, et cetera, et cetera. And none of that was working, so it, today is what, May 13th. 13th. It sent me to the emergency room this morning. And, um, yes, I do um, come to the hospital a lot. Um, and you get admitted a lot. Yeah, and, I get admitted and, a lot. And you probably would have, you probably would have been admitted today. Yeah, if I probably had... would have been admitted today if Dr. Micah wasn't here. Dr. Melick. You like I to, mean, I'm sorry. Dr. You like to call me Dr. Mike, but... I don't know why, <laughs> Dr. Melick. If Dr. Melick wouldn't, you know, wasn't here and wanted to, like, just, you know, have the idea over his head to try me on ketamine, and yes, it did. It worked. It, it's opiate sparing, so it cuts down the amount, the, the amount of opiates that you need. Yes. And you and I talked about the concern. There's a lot of people who have concerns about drug addiction and, and, and people liking it and, and wanting to use it and all that. But it's the same way with these narcotics yes, sort of thing, too. Yes, it is. All right. So um, I need to go see some more patients. But I uh, uh, appreciate your, your comments. No and, problem. And... Uh, and like I said, we'll we'll see how well this works for you, and uh, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. No problem, and I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I really do. So I'm asking y'all again for the ones that do see this, and um, I am the first sickle cell patient that's this been tried on. And maybe, maybe not in the world. I'm, I can't believe someone hasn't used it on sickle cell patients, but. Um, well, in, well, I'm thinking, well, in this hospital, I guess, maybe not, but I'm saying I'm the first patient in the ER. I think that, so. That has sickle cell anemia that this has been tried We've had the low dose ketamine on, so. Lower dose ketamine, I you Yeah, know. and that's why we're making the video. We yeah, use that's it why for we're other making patients, the video, so. And I feel great. Okay. Like I said, I can run a marathon right now. Cool. Y'all have a good day. All right, thank you. Thank you.